The problem, my darling, is that you are losing confidence in yourself. And unfortunately, the longer you wait to actually start living out your true design vision, that vision you carry inside of you, that dream you have of positively impacting lots of people, that dream you have of creating a heck of a lot more wealth and not being limited by finance, that dream you have of doing more stuff with your kids, that dream you have of doing more stuff with your partner, that dream you have of building a business that really gives you the freedom to do more of what you want to do when you want to do it. When we're talking about time, when we're talking about money, that business enables you to actually live to the fullness of your, your capabilities. The longer you leave doing this stuff, the longer you keep it as some vision at the back of your head that, oh, one day I will do it the longer you reduce your confidence in yourself. Your self-doubt grows, your confidence goes down. And, and the problem is, as well, you start to surround yourself by people who convince you even further that, that it's not possible for you to do this right now, that maybe nobody wants to hear what you have to say, and maybe it's not practical, you know, you're a very practical, action-oriented person, so, but when you come to think about your vision and the impact you would like to have on the world, it feels impractical, it feels like a bit of a pipe dream, something you do when you retire, or something like that, or something you only do in your religious organization, in church, or whatever. I, I'm talking because I was that girl, okay? I was that girl who really had these big ideas of the, the people I wanted to impact, but I couldn't convince myself that it was actually practical for me to be able to do this stuff. But, but, and, and for me, it was bankruptcy, it was depression, it was also giving birth to my three children that got me to that place of realizing if I don't make a start, one, I'm going to tell my kids that actually, no, you just have to settle for whatever life throws at you. And two, I will never live the life that I really dreamed of living. Now, I had lots of stories as to why I couldn't do it. And it all seemed so practical and reasonable for me to stay in place doing what I was doing. I was a pharmacist, you know, I, 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 was, I did leadership stuff at church. That should have been enough. And it is enough for most people, but not for us. But this is the thing. The longer you tell yourself you can't do it, the, the lower your self-confidence goes because you're continually telling yourself that you're not capable. But I'm here to remind you that you are, that actually you've made incredible things happen, that actually you have overcome a heck of a lot of stuff in order to become the person that you are right now. And in fact, it is the fact that you've overcome this stuff that that is the story that you need to start telling the world if you are going to impact the people that you're called and born to impact. If you want the free, the fulfilled, the financially abundant, the love-drenched love life that you deeply desire inside of you, honey, one, you're gonna have to define it and you're gonna have to find the courage to say, you know what, I know every crazy voice in my head is telling me that it is impossible. But the divine within me is telling me to go, is calling me. It's a calling inside of you to say, yes, this is what I'm here to do. Yeah, honey, there's going to be uncertainty. You're not going to wake up tomorrow and suddenly be all full of certainty. I know exactly what to say and how to do it. No, you won't. But still, you have to say, you know what? Yes, anyway. This, this path that you're on, you're the one creating it. Nobody's done it in exactly the same way that you're going to do it. Yes, there are guidelines, you know, there are guidelines, there are things you can learn, there are things you can pick up, you know, you can come into the Abundance Library, come into the Deliberate Millionaire Assembly. I can support you in moving forward in learning the, the things you can do online in order to take your vision forward. But ultimately, you're still going to have to say yes to you, to your soul, to the desires of your heart. Because you know what? The divine isn't keeping them from you. Because sometimes people use this whole thing of, oh, I'm just waiting for the divine to open the right door. I'm just waiting for, you know, another sign, another prophet to come and prophesy over me. I need the word has been given. You know what you're here to do. Yes, because you have kind of um, enveloped yourself in this life where you, you only do practical things, which, you know what? I'm not saying that practical things are irrelevant, but... The thing you're called to doesn't necessarily fit within the box of this is practical, this is reasonable. It's not the kind of thing, you know, being a pharmacist for me was practical. Being a property investor was practical. Being a prosperity minister was not practical. <laughs> and yet I had to finally say, you know what? Yes. Yes to the vision in my heart 
of supporting 334,000 people to reach financial abundance, to make a dent on this planet, doing what they're called and born to do. I could start to see the, the impact those people will have on their families, on their communities, on their countries. And the spirit-driven people rising up, taking back dominion over their territory. And I had to, even though it felt like, yeah, but how do I start from here? Nothing. I'm the pharmacist. I'm a practical person. I am. I pride myself on my practicality to this big vision over here, which sounds so like, well, I'm going to be singing and, and speaking and, and teaching me. What? What now? And yet, I had to say yes. And it didn't come easily, just like for you, it didn't come easily. I too, because I'd gone bankrupt, for goodness sake, I was definitely feeling a lot of self-doubt. I was feeling a lot of, am I, how can I, how can I, who am I to tell anybody anything? But I said yes. And the journey's been, definitely has its downs, but it'll have, it has its freedom. <laughs> I would not go back to doing what I used to do at all being able to watch my children grow up, being able to do the things that I want to do whenever I want to do them. Honey, the freedom and the connection to the divine and the knowing when I go to bed every single night that I am doing what I am born to do. Oh my gosh. And yeah, the abundance. Yeah, the financial abundance. That is great. Honey, you need to stop telling yourself that you can't. This is your vision. This is your life. And it's time for you to wake up to it. Yes, it's going to be a little bit scary to begin with. That is why you want to come and work with me in, in any different way, either the Deliberate Millionaire Assembly or work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Let's get this whole thing set up. Do you know what? Start with the Abundance Library. Message me the word Abundance. Start your seven-day trial. Come on now. It is time for you to start expanding your awareness, start building that confidence, you know, go into the Abundance Library and listen to the Unapologetic Rise of the Queen or Unstoppable Confidence. Build that confidence inside of you. Start working on your money mindset. Start working on your connection with the divine so you go deeper than deep because that is the foundation on which you will build everything else. Start working on the, the relationship craziness going on. Start working on what do I need to do to put my vision out into the world. Start working on your health because you're going to need to be healthy for this vision to come to life, man. <laughs> come on, all of this stuff is in the Abundance Library and it's waiting for you. Come and start your seven-day trial by messaging me the word abundance, okay? Message me the word abundance, share this video with somebody else, I'll get all the details to you. You start your seven day trial, you'll start to feel, you start to see, lots of people already get incredible results just by doing the Opulence Bootcamp for seven days. You'll start to get some results and you'll know whether you need to stay or, or go. That's fine. I don't care. I just need you to start saying yes to you. When you feel, uh, as, um, uh, uh, what's it called, a resonance inside of your heart that says, I need to do this thing. Instead of saying, no, but I can't because of money, because of this, because of time, because of, because of, because of. That is de 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 demolishing your self-confidence. Come on now. You know you're a powerful person, so it's time to stop saying no to you and start saying yes to your true design life. Message me the word abundance right now. And share this video with somebody else because you know there's at least 333,999 people out there that need to hear this. <laughs> I am Rosemary Not Unite. I am the Prosperity Minister and I support you in leaving behind the pain of the past, the limiting beliefs of the past, and to rise victorious in your true design life. It is time to take that vision out of dream world, off the shelf there, and actually start living it out. It is yours. Your vision is your permission. So message me the word abundance. Share this video with somebody else. I look forward to seeing you on path. Much amazing love. Bye.